Mother Nature can deliver a damaging cold this time of the year. SNN's Grant Boxleitner takes a closer look. Temperatures dipped into the upper 30s Thursday, the coldest in months on the Sun Coast. At Seneca Farms in Sarasota County, owner Len Dabala is always monitoring his crops, ranging from strawberries to corn to citrus trees. Strawberries, no problem. We, we have sprinklers. We can keep them flooded until the frost passes. But uh, other than that, uh, Thank the Lord, so far it hasn't uh, got cold enough to do any damage. Back in 2012, Dabala says a severe cold snap cost him a lot when it killed several crops. We lost quite a bit. We lost all our papaya, uh, uh, avocado, guava. And over the last two seasons, cold weather hasn't played that much of a factor here at Seneca Farms. Only one time have they had to use this frost cloth to protect crops. Records show temperatures at Sarasota Bradenton International have not been in the 20s since 2010. Since then, the coldest days of each year have stayed above freezing. Frost is really important. We watch that very close. We monitor the weather constantly. But Dabala knows it's a long winter, and it only takes one frigid night to change everything. If it gets too cold, we're losers. Farming is a gamble. Reporting in Sarasota County, Grant Boxleitner, SNN Suncoast News Network. And good news for farmers, a slow warm-up is on the way.